if you are suddenly confronted with a negative experience or a challenging situation, how do you react to that situation? In the world, there are two kinds of people. Those who complain and want to go back to what was there in the past and there are those who integrate that challenge into their lives and they grow with it. Hi, my name is Mahesh and I am the Chief Happiness Officer at Inspire to Aspire Consulting. Our company's goal is to inspire others to be healthy, happy and to aspire for higher goals in life. We do that through our training solutions. In this video, we are going to be talking about how challenges can make you grow in life. There was a study done by researchers Calhoun and Tadeshi that showed that 90 percent of people that go through a trauma or a challenging situation, they report experiencing what is known as post-traumatic growth or an expansion in at least one area of their lives. 90 percent of the people experience growth after a challenge. I recently saw a wonderful inspiring social media post. It read, if it does not challenge you, it does not change you. It reminded me of a challenge that I took on last year and how it helped me grow. So, I was thinking I need to increase my fitness level and one of the things that I always wanted to do is do push-ups. Last year I did Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within workshop and in that one of the activities was we had to break a wooden block. Now I did not know it was possible, but thanks to the training I actually managed to break it in one go. I was thinking what was it that had me think that it is not possible for me to break it. It was a mental block. It was a boundary that I had created mentally that I can't do this. And so after breaking the block, I started thinking, wait a minute, where else do I have these mental blocks that stop me from achieving my goals in life? And so I took on a fitness challenge. And that fitness challenge was to do 30 push-ups within 30 days. When I started the challenge, I could barely do 10. And that also, if I ever did 10, I would just collapse immediately after that because I did not have the strength. I started practicing push-ups daily. Within 30 days, I was able to do 30 push-ups. And then I started thinking, can I do more? Can I increase my challenge? So then I set a target for 50 push-ups within the next 30 days. Managed to get to 50 very soon. And then I'm like, well, why 50? Why not 100? That took a bit of a time, but eventually, within six months of starting this exercise of doing push-ups at least three, four times a week. Today, I can do 100 push-ups. Notice, all I did was increased my challenge. As I said, if it does not challenge you, it does not change you. Dear friends, think about a challenge or a challenging situation that you have in your life right now. Are you complaining about it or are you embracing it and finding ways to grow through it? Maybe the pandemic has cut your business or it has changed your entire lifestyle. And so what? Instead of resigning and complaining about the situation, can you think of it simply as one of those challenges of life that will definitely lead to some form of growth or transformation. There are two books that I highly recommend you to read. One is Growth Mindset by Carol Dweck and the second one is The Obstacle is the Way by 
Ryan Holiday. Also, check out some of our own courses. You know, we, we ourselves at Inspire to Aspire Consulting, we do courses on how to embrace challenges, become resilient and to grow in life. So my friends, take on a challenge in life. And remember, if it does not challenge you, it does not change you. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on whole personal well-being, peak performance, self-improvement and positive education. Thank you.